Are you interested in finding out the good, the bad, and the ugly about living in Suffolk, Virginia? Yes. Well, you've come to the right place because that's exactly what we're talking about today, and it starts now. What's up, fam? I'm Jonathan Beasley, and this is the one and only Rachel Beasley, love of my life, queen of my heart, business partner extraordinaire. And we're here today with another video regarding the Hampton Roads real estate community. And today we're specifically discussing all things Suffolk, Virginia. It's very near and dear to our heart because we have a lot of close friends and loved ones that live there and have chosen to call Suffolk home. So we're excited for what we're about to talk about and share with you. And one quick note, if you find this video informative, please smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification too. That way you'll be notified every time we post a new video. We're going to be posting new videos each and every Wednesday on things specific to the Hampton Roads community and real estate. So if you have any questions at all on those topics, please feel free to comment below. Our sole purpose here is to serve as an informational resource to you. So we'll also put our email below and our contact information so you can hit us up here or you can shoot us an email anytime and we'll reach out and answer any questions you have. Now let's get into it. Suffolk's blend of easygoing rural charm, modern city amenities, and a relatively high rated school system have made the city an attractive option for buyers looking to buy a home in the Hampton Roads area. Located within easy driving distance of Virginia's beautiful East Coast beaches, which we go to quite often, and other natural areas, the city offers residents plenty of recreational opportunities in the community. It also exhibits what you've come to expect of a charming Southern city, which would be <laughs> history, warmth, and a lot of <laughs> hospitality. Yes, it's charming. Yeah, good stuff in Suffolk. On to the real estate portion. The number of homes for sale in Suffolk may suggest that it's mostly a residential area, but make no mistake, there's plenty to do. So if you head downtown to like the Washington Street area, you'll see a lot of like boutique shopping and cool little stores that sell keepsakes and gifts you know, the kind of stuff like porcelain trash cans that we have on our house. Who makes porcelain trash cans? We have well. to have that for my dad. <laughs> there's all kinds of dining. Uh, there's anything you want from like Greek and Italian to like fast food chains and the stuff that I try to avoid that I can't like Burger King because I love them freaking double whoppers with cheese. Now, in terms of single family homes, Suffolk still has some of the best bang for your buck in the seven cities of Hampton Roads. Relatively speaking, your budget in comparison to say Norfolk, Chesapeake and Virginia Beach will stretch a good bit further. In my opinion, Suffolk also has a good bit of appreciation upside left since it's significantly less developed in those areas. It's also seeing continued population growth, which fuels values. And if you think about it this way, the current population is around 90,000. And over the past 10 years, we've seen steady growth in population and in home values. So we're also seeing a lot of new inventory and development and new construction. So we expect to see Suffolk appreciation trend at regional and national levels or maybe a little faster. So there's still a good bit of upside. Suffolk's also home to various corporate industries and job opportunities that will continue to fuel both population growth and real estate values. Warehousing, distribution, retail, medical, defense contracting, these are all things that comprise the large segments of the corporate engine of Suffolk. There's Lipton Tea, Smuckers, Bluebell Creamery, Target, QVC, Lockheed Martin, Cisco, Amazon, hey. and of course, Planters Peanuts. You can check out the planner's <laughs> peanut statue that's in downtown Suffolk, which is a trip. <laughs> Suffolk in rapid fire. Suffolk may not be for you if oh, you're okay. accustomed to public transit. So here's the thing. Suffolk is the largest city in all of Virginia by land mass. It's 430 square miles of land. So don't expect to see a lot of uh, public transit or any form of transit at all other than the downtown area. Only 1.6% of the population uses public transit at all. So you're definitely going to need to plan to walk, ride a bike, or have a car if you're living in Suffolk. Although Uber and Lyft they do. are readily available. We use them from time to time. Yeah. You might not like Suffolk if you like nightlife. 
there is not a ton of activity going on in Suffolk. It's more of a place to like shoot guns, go fishing, that sort of thing. So if you like a lot of hot spots in concentrated pockets of area, you're likely gonna be disappointed in Suffolk. Now you're within driving distance of those places. So Norfolk and Virginia Beach in particular have some really cool venues, but generally speaking, there's not much of that sort of thing in Suffolk. So plan to drive 25 to 30 minutes if you wanna have a good time. You might find a couple biker bars though. So it just kind of depends on <laughs> what's your cup damn. of tea, right? Exactly. You might not like Suffolk if you don't like space in general. So think about this, 50% of all of the single family parcels in Suffolk are over half of an acre. Wow. Suffolk is generally known as the spot to be spread out and have a lot of sprawling land, bigger parcels. People build on like 20 and 30 acres very regularly here. So Suffolk is the country of Hampton Road, so to speak. So. If you're accustomed to like big city living, we have a lot of friends that literally like love the noise of taxis and bright lights. They live in New York City right. and they just, they eat it up. They can't sleep without ambulances driving by. Not my cup of tea, but if that's your cup of tea, Suffolk, might not be for you. Uh, you might not like Suffolk if you plan to work on the south side, particularly like Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, and Norfolk, and you don't like a commute. So I love I love car, car time, listening to podcasts. It's like a mobile university for me. It's where I get my personal wellness time and my education. However, if you don't like a commute and you're planning to work in Virginia Beach, Norfolk, or Chesapeake, Suffolk might not be the spot for you to call home. Some recommendations from the locals. Suffolk is great for lovers of the outdoors. There's a ton of areas displaying natural beauty within driving distance of downtown, including Bennett's Creek Park, which we absolutely love, awesome. and Lone Star Lake Park. Bennett's Creek Park features volleyball courts, a full-size <laughs> full playground for the kids, huge fishing pier, and multiple boat slips for you boating and fishing enthusiasts like Jonathan and our son. Also be sure to check out the hiking trail and it actually has an 18 hole disc golf course, which is actually pretty fun. Yeah. You're taking the family there and it's, it's a you total blast. Did by a snake? I did, yes. <laughs> I mean, I flipped it and it got aggressive. Have like a snake stick or something because you are like in the woods. See, I did good. I had a <laughs> snake did. stick. I, I know. I may have screamed a lot. Another great outdoor Suffolk highlight is the Great Dismal Swamp, which is way cooler and less than it sounds. <laughs> it's a, it offers trails, it offers wildlife, it has biking and kayaking. Boaters and anglers will tell you that it's home to bass, crabs, catfish, killifish, don't even know what a killifish is, but I bet it's cool. All sorts of sea creatures. Put simply, it's a prime spot for the afternoons that you need to get out of the office, get away from the house, and just get out in God's creation. Cool place for you outdoors men and ladies. Now on to three personal favorite eateries that we like and enjoy. We're gonna end every video with just a couple recommendations. So number one, Harper's Table. Very cool place. It boasts locally sourced, locally sourced. Rachel and I are small business owners, so we love to support local small business. So everything's locally sourced. It's Southern cuisine with a really cool, like artistic flair. You'll know what I mean when you go. And if you like seafood, you have to try the she crab soup. And for my personal favorite, decoys. Also a seafood place, it offers stunning views of the Bennett's Creek, like the sunsets there are beautiful at night. We go there pretty often. Um, but anyway, it has wonderful indoor and outdoor seating and fresh fish, crabs, along with steaks, sandwiches, soups, and a variety of really good craft beers, local, and some opportunities for some really amazing desserts you have to try. They also have a huge outdoor tiki bar swim pool oh, cool. area. It's really fun place to just hang out with a bunch of people. It is one of the rare spots in Suffolk that offers music on the weekends, like live music. So be sure to get there early because it actually really fills up fast. This last one is just sort of like a gimme, easy breezy for us. We will never get too sophisticated to enjoy a good margarita and nachos. So Mexican cuisine is like, we literally eat it like three or four times a week. So if Mexican food is your love language as it is ours, go check out Guads and Northeast Suffolk off of Harbor View Boulevard. Very great play, great food, great fajitas, burritos. Ask for Rodrigo, he's like the man. And uh, yeah, it's you, you can't miss. We'll give La Paria like an honorable mention. They also have several convenient locations. And, and their salsa's really good. Their salsa's amazing. Yeah, and they have that um, sangria. They have a homemade sangria, which is mwah, magnifique, but that's Italian, isn't it? Oops. No. So anyway, we're Jonathan and Rachel Beasley. We hope you enjoyed this video. We are That Fit Team, professionals in real estate. And passionate about people. See you next week.